The Monday Morning Racer was at the Arby's Southern Nationals, and I got you, the race fan, six pro driver interviews. Next. <laughs> Hello race fans, Lee Craft here, the Monday Morning Racer, and I am excited for this particular installment of videos for you, the race fan, because I, at the NHRA Arby's Southern Nationals, was able to get six pro driver interviews. Those interviews being with Andy Rawlings of Pro Stock Motorcycle, Erica Enders of Pro Stock and Pro Mod, Alex Laughlin, Pro Stock and Pro Mod, also Clay Milliken in Top Fuel, Ron Caps in Funny Car, Jack Beckman in a funny car as well. But before we get to those interviews, I want to share with you the Monday Morning Racers next free giveaway. It is this NHRA hat. Now, it is a generic NHRA hat, but it's also special. My dad, whose birthday was at the Arby's Southern Nationals on Friday, went around and got as many signatures as he could on this hat, and let me share with you a few of the highlights of those pro drivers that signed this hat. We've got on this hat signatures from Leah Pritchett, Steve Torrance, Tim Wilkerson, and I think the highlight of them all, the grand lady herself, Shirley Muldowney. Now this giveaway will go out when this channel reaches 100 subscribers. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me as well as the like button. And now let me share with you about these interviews. So I had a lot of fun getting these interviews. It's the first time I have ever tried to do anything like this and I am in no way a professional. I wanted to ask some questions that the regular NHRA broadcast might not ask serious racing questions, and then some offhand type of life questions. So, I hope you enjoy these pro interviews that I was able to get, and I hope soon to bring you more interviews just like this from other type of national meets and forms of racing. Enjoy. Um, 
We're very excited to have Osborne on board with us. Um, they have amazing products, um, they're finishing products, so if you're welding, um, it helps you finish up with that. Um, so it comes in great with all the fab work that we do on our bikes. So we're excited to have them on board. They'll be out here later today. So stop by and see us and follow our YouTube channel, um, Fast Eddie Racing, to hear more about those guys as well. Awesome. Andy, look, thank you for your time, and I'm sure the folks on the Monday morning race room will be here. Thank you. Thank you.
you know, being on the road so much, like there, there's no doubt that we eat most of our meals at Waffle House and like Buffalo Wild Wings. You know, Waffle House is open early enough for breakfast, late enough if it comes to it, you know, that's always a dinner option. Uh, that happens from time to time, uh, as well as like, you know, Buffalo Wild Wings or something like that. So we honestly don't eat uh, super healthy on the road, but you know, we can stay busy and uh, work it off. All right, so last week at Florida Wild, you were in a Ford that was a mountain motor pro stock. Tell us about that. Yeah, so that car is like a combination of everything I've been driving over the course of this, this season, you know. It's got the clutch, like a uh, like like my pro stock car, you know, you stage it the same, you leave the starting line the same, where um, you shift it like my radial car, you know, but then it's fast, like the pro mod. And so it's literally like all of those things combined. And, uh, you know, I really expected to be able to just jump in it and make flawless runs. And there's there's a lot more to it than, uh, than I expected, you know. Especially after being in so many different cars this year, it's hard to kind of disconnect from one getting into something that's brand new. You know, I'm running three different cars, but I have a lot of laps in all of those, so I'm able to keep them separated. Uh, but the new car, the Mountain Motor deal, that was that was a whole different deal. All in all, you know, still ran fine, good time with it, uh, and you know, I was very glad to be able to, to add that to the list. Awesome. Well, look, Alex, thank you for your time. Before I let you go, why don't you give a shout out to who's helping you being out here today? You know, absolutely all my sponsors. You know who they are. They're all over my car, my shirt, that one especially. They've done so much for me. Um, and then my family, you know, like we're, we're on the road so much. I've slept more in a hotel room this year than I have my own bed. So uh, it's, uh, that's that's one of the more grueling parts of it. You know, it's, it's definitely not as glamorous as everybody uh, assumes. So, uh, yeah, but very lucky. Very glad to be here. All right. Alex, thank you for your time, man. Thank you, man. Ron Cash has been so gracious to give me some time, and thank you, Ron. You were the one I wanted to get today out of everybody, so thank you for your time. All right, look, I know you've been in a dirt car. You've done a fuel alter here recently. Yeah. You're a real man of a lot of different things. What else is on the list that you want to get into? Wow, good question. Uh, I would love Bonneville, probably, to get into a streamliner. Um, I've been asked to go get my 200-mile-an-hour license, and I think it would be fun to do that and then try to get into somebody's streamliner and try to go 300 or 400 or, or even faster. Awesome. I think way too many people in motorsports don't realize Bonneville, oh. how great it is, yeah. the history behind it. Only been it. once and it was life changing. I, I bet. I yeah. bet. I haven't got out there myself. But oh, you got to go. So, uh, you've been around the nation. Best fast food burger that you've had? Oh my gosh. Well, I live in California, so it's hard to beat in and out. Uh, Arby's is good. It's always a good go-to. You know, you're going to get something good. Hey, they're sponsoring the Arby's NHRA Southern Nationals. You know what? <laughs> Look at you. Arby's Nationals. Um, best fast food of anywhere. Uh, still around? or does still, it? Any, anywhere. There was a place where I grew up in San Luis Obispo, California called Scrubby and Lloyd's. Messy, real burger, just so good. And it closed down, but it was around San Luis Obispo growing up, even my mom was still alive. And uh, unfortunately it's closed, but that was probably my favorite fast food hamburger. Awesome. Well, Ron, thank you for your time. Yeah, uh, why don't you tell us who's helping you being out here? Well, of course, we got Napa Auto Parts this weekend. It's Napa Brakes, got a special car. It's all vinyled up behind us. Uh, Pins Oil, Dodge, USA Compression, E3 spark plugs. Um, we got a lot of people, and it's uh, you know you look at our uniforms, and it's pretty neat when you look around and see all these companies that help us. Uh, of course, Ron Tobler makes it all happen with our car, and I'm a lucky one that's shot out of a cannon every weekend. So uh, couldn't do it without them. And hopefully, we can get a win this weekend. All right, Ron, and thank you so much. Fan favorite, Ron Caps here on the Monday morning race. See you guys. Craft here, Monday morning racer. Clay's been very gracious, give me an interview. Clay, man, good to have you out here. The Arby's NHRA Southern Nationals, hoping you're gonna do well this weekend. Briefly, briefly, tell me the journey from forklift driver to top field driver. Uh -huh. That's a very, very long story, but essentially I was a bracket racer my whole life. Got very fortunate, met some great people along the way. You never know who you're gonna meet that is, that'll put you where you wanna be. A guy named Raymond King, 
like second dad to me. He introduced me to a young man named Peter Lieben. I guess I was a pretty good salesman. Peter Lieben took me from forklift driver to top field driver, and that was 21 years ago. 21 years, still going strong, winning races, awesome. All right, so you're at the greatest intersection of breakfast in the nation. You got AHA, Denny's, Waffle House, and Huddle House. Where do you go for breakfast? Oh, that, that's a no-brainer. Waffle House is the bomb. Give me them hash browns all the way, minus the mushrooms. I don't want no mushrooms because I'm a country boy and I know where mushrooms grow and I'm not eating nothing that comes out of a pile of cow left. I hear you. I hear you. All right, man. What are your chances, you think, this weekend with a uh, track that traditionally with Atlanta, things start to get warm, it gets tricky, and I don't know, I kind of think this place almost the Talladega of NHRA, all the crazy stuff happens. Yeah, you never know what you're going to get. You know, the sun shines in your face, makes it hard to see the Christmas tree. There's been a lot of historic things going on here, but I love coming here. The first racetrack that I ever got to go that my parents didn't go with me was right here, so it's got a little special spot to me, and I love coming here. It's a lot of fun, but my chances are pretty dang good because I think of the first six races, we have been in three final rounds. We've just been runner-up every time. So we're ready to click that last win light on this weekend right here in Commerce. All right, Clay, thank you. We'll let you get back to what you're doing. Hey, my first NHRA track was right here. Been coming since I was in diapers and did junior dragsters myself. Hey, thank you for awesome. your time, Clay. That's awesome. Thank you guys for tuning in. Lee Craft here, Monday Morning Racer. Fast Jack Beckman, he's gave me some of his time graciously. Hey Jack, on social media I've been seeing this beautiful yellow car you've got. Tell us a little bit about that. Guilty. So my dad bought it in 79 from the original owner. Hadn't spoke to the guy since 79. I bought it from my dad in 81 when I was 15. I took my driving test on my 16th birthday in it. Uh, freshened up the engine, made it pretty nice. Drove it out to the Air Force. I was stationed in New Mexico. 1986 made my first run ever down a drag strip in Lubbock, Texas with that car. Still got the time slip, 93 miles an hour. I uh, raced it for years when I got out and then it sat for 22 years. And I brought it home from my buddy's storage building and I thought, I'll spend five months, the paint was fine. You know, I'll fix it up a little bit, make it streetable. Full frame off restoration, new paint. A, a lot of companies gave me some really cool stuff for the car. Uh, I think MSD and Hotchkiss ruined it for me. MSD gave me an atomic fuel injector before I ever wanted to touch the car. Hotchkiss came over and was the first manufacturer that said, you know what, if you let us come over here and film in your garage, I'll let you put everything on and I'll give you everything. So the quality of the build went from here to here. 38 months later, it's running and it's on the road. And now I'm at that massaging stage. Like everything's good. I just want everything to be perfect before right. I take it out and start cruising full time. Right, great. Now, on uh, NHRA, they've obviously shared with us, you're a veteran, you served in the Air Force, but right. what did you do exactly in the Air Force? I, I was a floor waxing technician. Now, that wasn't my job, that was only once a week. I did avionics on the F-111. The pilots would go up, they'd make a flight, they'd come back, they'd complain. Cruise control doesn't work, this system doesn't work, navigation doesn't work. The flight line guys would pull those units out, bring them into shop to us, we'd fix them and send them back. Awesome. Well, guys, look, this man standing right in front of you, he's taking a lot of time for the fans, gave a great experience to even a little girl packing a parachute. And, uh, Jack, thank you for making NHRA hey, great. My pleasure, and thank you, guys. Come out and see us run. Uh, watch us run. Thanks.